This is a documentary about LGBTQ members and what they have gone through when coming out. We will be covering why this is important and how it affects people here on campus. About 83% of the population keep their identity and sexual orientation hidden. Hiding in these feelings can lead to mental and physical health issues. This can associate with depression, anxiety, and substance abuse. Let's hear from some of the people here on campus and what they went through. Today I'm here with August, Cambria, Hickey, Julius, Michaela, Alyssa Leva. What is your sexuality and identity? So, um, honestly, I don't really use labels to define myself, mainly because of past trauma with people telling me like, you don't fit into that, or you're not, you, you're not that, you can't be. It's not, it doesn't fit, you don't look the part, or you don't act the part. I'm like, I'm tired of you people telling me that I don't, I'm not this, I'm not what I want to be. Uh, I currently identify as a lesbian. I also identify with, with the non-binary umbrella, but that's just, that's also just a whole mess, but mainly, but mainly to most people, I'm just a lesbian. I am a transgender man uh, who is asexual, demiromantic, and polyamorous. I have a lot of different labels. I am a lesbian, um, uh, cisgendered women. I am a demiromantic, demi sexual lesbian, and I use she, her pronouns. When you were coming out, what struggles did you go through? Honestly, I was afraid. Afraid of them not accepting me, especially my dad. I'm very close with my dad. But when I came out, kind of came out, it was, first was my mom. And she was like, yes, it's, yeah, you're fine. It's. Science. I could find you all of the studies about how it's uh, how being trans, being gay, it's all genetics. It's not so a choice or something. And then my dad, he had some time to struggle with it, but he he's gotten he's good he's gotten there. When I came out to my parents, they were very supportive. They they don't they didn't really care. They're like, oh cool, congrats. But like before I discovered who I really was, I came out to one of my friends and they said something they said some things that weren't very nice. He's supportive of me now. And then another person and then I came out to that friend's I think grandma and was talking about my girlfriend and she said something about religion and a bunch of other st stuff and base and I kinda had to defend myself. So for me coming out was a huge process. I at first w w just identified as like pan because partially because I didn't know anything about the LGBTQ until about middle school. Um, I was very sheltered kid. I grew up in, in like the church and that was all I had. But um, through middle school I started learning more about this community and more about like who I am and I started realizing I'm not a woman and I like s didn't know how I felt about people but I knew actually for a very long time that I had a phobia of like that whole like in intimacy thing like uh, beyond like just a relationship. My gender was a huge process. Uh, I knew I wasn't a woman, and it kind of expanded from there. I went f to um, non-binary for a hot minute, and then gender fluid, and then I finally settled on, I like he, him pronouns. After it settled on he, him pronouns, I was, I was like, okay, I think I'm a, I think I'm a guy. <laughs> And which kind of shocked me for a hot minute there because for the longest time I was like, I hate men, men are evil. And turns out there was a lot of gender envy and then also a lot of uh, influence from the uh, things that I did outside of school, such as I played baseball for a very long time. Uh, and that 
had an impact on my view of guys because I was looked down upon throughout all of it. It's just the whole fear of what if really freaked me out. That my parents weren't gonna accept me and my whole extended family, but they do, so it's kind of got over that, so we're good. About 25.6 million Americans have acknowledged same-sex attraction. 92% of Americans reported that homosexuality should be accepted by society. Did you get past the struggles, and how long did it take for you to come out? Um, it took me a, a few years to come out. I went into scientifically, what is this? And I found a lot, and so when I talk to my parents about it, and they're like, I'm showing them all the signs. They're like, okay, then this makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I think it took a couple of months after I figured out to come out or at least be like, hey, I'm not straight. But then, but then when, when I was experimenting with gender and stuff to say anything to my parents, they, they're definitely, at least, or at least my mom. My mom's still confused, but she supports me nonetheless, and I think that's pretty neat. I ended up just knowing th that I need to be okay with who I am and not base that on how I feel about other people and how other people feel about me. I'm still coming out not as polyamorous because that one has so much more uh, so many more connotations in society. For anyone that doesn't know what polyamorous means, it just means that I would be willing to, or sometimes it's, uh, for some people, it's preferred to have multiple partners, whether that be a uh, like three-way relationship or having multiple two-way relationships. I prefer like multiple people in one relationship because the other way just feels like cheating to me, but that's not, not how everyone feels. But I I know that I don't need to base who I am on what everybody else thinks. Um, I feel like actually like talking to my parents about it helped with that 100%. Like. Um, once I told them, hey, uh, girls, I really like girls, and I have a girlfriend, like, knowing, like, reassuring, like, them reassuring me, like, hey, we're not mad at you, it's t perfectly fine and normal, like, that that really helped me, um, I guess, feel more at ease that they don't care. It took me, like, six months to accept it and to be open about that. And then I didn't fully like accept myself, like adopt like a label that I was comfortable with and actually be sure of who I am until uh, freshman year in October when I started dating my girlfriend. Um, and then that's when I knew like, okay, I, I, I'm cool. Maybe two years, I would say two years. Did you tell anyone and who was the first person or people you told? Mm. The first person that I told was my brother, Julius. Um, and then my friends, um, Julius and I have been very, we're very close, we're twins, so we've, we've never not shared a room, we've never not shared anything about us, um, the main difference between us is our, what, what we identify as, and that's, and if you look, we look very similar, especially since he cut his hair. Um, uh, he was the first person I told because I felt I could trust him with it. Yeah. And he didn't disappoint. <laughs> and I'm really quite thankful for that. Uh, the, first, the first person that I like said, hey, I'm not straight was probably my sister. Her name's Kennedy. I felt like I could tell her because she was she's like my sister and I think think she and I was able and I felt like I could trust her with that information. The first person I told that I'm still in touch with is actually my twin August. They were like one of the first people I told after I settled into okay, this is something that I know. Because I don't like telling people things that I don't know for sure because then it switches switches on them and I don't 
yeah. but then it did switch, and I was like, ah. <laughs> The first one was my mom. Uh, we were going to Disneyland for my birthday. I was ditched in school. Um, and it was just me and her in the car. And the night before, my sister said, like she was bullying me about having a crush on someone, even though really I was dating someone. Um, and I was like, not, you know, I was really getting really upset about that. And so in the mo in the car, my mom was like, hey, what was that all about? And then I started like crying and telling her, oh, I have a girlfriend. I have had a girlfriend for like months now. <laughs> and. Yeah, she, she was a little emotional, but she was like, yeah. she was fine with it. I did tell one person and uh, they, I still know them actually. They're the club's president's mm -hmm. girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know if they remember if I ever did come out to them. Like they were the first person that I just like had a conversation with and they were, they were cool. Some people don't accept it because they find it disturbing, but they have never beat up someone or hurt someone just for that. They say, as long as they aren't bothering me, I don't care. How did you figure out your sexuality? Did you explore your interests or did you just know? I... It took a lot of questioning for me. I have changed between labels forever. <laughs> Ever since I found out. Um, first I was like, okay, I might be bi or lesbian or something like that. And I'm like, um, and then I figure out that questioning gender is a thing. And I'm like, what? I'm all over the place in this. And I'm exploring all these labels and middle school, people are mean. High school, I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I went through one of the worst depressions of my life, especially during quarantine when I first got Twitter. Twitter is not the best place to be. <laughs> and then I, f s still on Twitter, I find the unlabeled flag and I'm like, this is really cool. Um, this is, I don't have to fit into anything specific. And I loved it. I was, I'm like, this is good. I like this. This is what I identify. I don't identify as any of these labels because they don't make sense or people tell me that I'm not this. You can't be. Um, I didn't know right away. I think it had something to do with internalized homophobia, but I started thinking about it once. It's actually kind of funny, but... <laughs> But it kind of came to me in like dreams and stuff and it was like, why am I having dreams with me being happy with other other women? And I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely not straight. But it took it took maybe like after after I'm like, oh, I'm not straight, it took me maybe like uh I, that was in like seventh grade. It took me to my freshman year to realize that, oh, I like girls and I only like girls, I don't like men, and that was when I started dating Michaela. My sexuality has been a very wild ride, like how I identify. Trying to, uh, trying to find that out was huge because for a long time I thought I just liked women. Um, and then I, and then I learned more about my gender and I realized I don't just like women. The only reason that I used to like women more and actually, currently, I'm leaning more towards liking males. Um, the only reason I used to only really like women and more feminine people was because I had gender envy for the men. For the men, and I gender is usually very connected with your sexuality. Um, you see, it's actually very common for like transgender men to I like identify as something else before they start like their transition some um some men even like come out as like fully gay after they go on t testosterone and that's not uh, because like the testosterone changes their brain it doesn't change your sexuality it just opens you up to more possibilities and opens you up uh, and you most people have less like gender dysphoria and uh, gender envy when when you get around to going on hormones. I 
think it started like the signs are there because when I was younger I was never really interested in boys except for in like elementary school but like after that like middle school I just didn't care for having crushes on guys and then um I had one friend that I started like feeling really differently around. I'm like, oh my goodness, like I crave being around them and their attention. And I'm like, oh shoot, do I have a crush on them? Or am I just being like a really close friend with them? And then I realized, oh, I have a crush on them. Okay. <laughs> and then it just went from there. I kind of just knew. Um, it was more like, I don't like the idea of a man. <laughs> How do you feel now that you have come out? Do you think you'll close yourself off about it or be uh, open about it? I don't think I'm going to be able to close myself off. Um, I, it's a big part of who I am. I, if you look and see me outside in the quad, some, some days I will be wearing my flag on my back as a cape. It's a cape showing of where I've been, who I've been, and who I am now. It's, I won't be able to close myself off from this anymore. I physically cannot. Uh, I don't think I'll, I don't think I will go back unless it's like for a safety reason, you know, because, because why be, I mean, if obviously if it's not safe, then it's not safe, and and I will do do whatever I can to keep myself safe. Yeah. But otherwise, why hide a, a part of yourself to the world? I don't think it's possible to close myself off about it anymore. This is a very important part of who I am, and how I help other people. Uh, a lot of my friends on, on campus are uh, part of the LGBTQ community and um, recently I've been told a lot that I've helped them in like figuring out who they are and that's not something that I want to stop. That's not something that I want to get rid of by trying to hide. I know currently I'm not out to my entire family. Um, like, I have a lot of family that lives outside of California, and they're very conservative, so I'm not out to them at all. When I have the ability to, like, not have to see them again if, if necessary, then I know this is going to affect the rest of my life. This is, this is going to be, uh, this is gonna affect my relationships and this is part of who I am. Once you like start showing people this part of who you are, it's not something you can hide anymore. Ooh, uh, for a while I did close myself off because that friend I had a crush on, they like never really talked to me ever again. And that really hurt a lot. Um, and after that, I was like, no, I'm not ever gonna be open about this. And no, no, no. But then I started getting a crush on my current girlfriend and then I was open about it. And for a while after starting to date her, I was really afraid of like, being open about my relationship with her to the public, like say like going out to the park, going on walks, like hand holding, because I was afraid of what people would say and do to us like i you know my anxiety is like oh like someone's gonna attack us someone's going to um you know do horrible things to us but then i guess somehow some at some point i don't even remember specific, specifically when like it just clicked that i'm like you know what frick those people and now i have like this um feeling of like um how do i explain it like like, yeah, so what? Like, what are you gonna do about it? Like, sort of, like, wanting to be very open and um, passionate about how I am. I feel very open. It's a lot easier, especially since I've come out to most of my extended family. It's been, like, a load off. Is there anything you would like to say to others here on campus who are having trouble coming out? Don't be afraid to not be accepted because there will always be people who will love you and accept you. Even if they're not in your family, even if they're not your 
group of friends at school. We're here in, we have GSA, I'm out on campus everywhere. You, you have people that will be there for you even if your family, your family, your friends don't accept you. You'll still have people, us in GSA. I say just own yourself. If you're not ready, then you're not ready, but, but don't be afraid to be who you are and hide that part of, identi of your identity if you don't have to, you know? Coming out is a process and you don't have to know 100% who you are right now. High school, people will tell you you need to know who you are. People will tell you you need to know what you, need, what you want to do. You don't have to know who you are. You don't have to be settled until ever. You don't ever have to stick with this is who I am. If you're afraid of what your parents will say, I would say to try to test the waters a bit, maybe mention LGBTQ stuff and see how they react. Um, it is 100% up to you if you wanna come out. You don't have to come out if you're not comfortable with it. And you can also choose who you come out to. Just because you come out to your friends does not mean you come out to your family if you're not comfortable with it. Find the people that you can trust and that will support you then um, like have them as your support group that you can be open with. You're valid and it's okay if you're confused right now. You are the only person that knows yourself. Even if you don't know what you are right now, you are the only person that knows your true self. Don't let anybody say otherwise.